Shalom again, friends in Yeshua. Um, I just want to do a final part of this video. Flip the book, Starstruck. Now, the book of Enoch was uh, the book that uh, the Apostle Jude wrote about. And there's the one that explains um, what the angels that uh, Elohim has made um, before us. And, um, you know, it would certainly go to explain a lot of the UFO phenomenon, um, which obviously what most of this book is about. I also just want to um, include in this point uh, the part about the wormhole technology, which I believe um, we're coming to a head of just now. Um, as you know, weaponry and technology increases, so is the capability of the human race to destroy itself. And Messiah says in the last days, um, I will cut these days short for the sake of mine elect. Now at the very start of this book is what is described as a wormhole opening up for a ship to go through, which we'll just read a little bit from here. Now this is the excerpt called um, The Prequel, which explains some of the characters and the history of the other characters in the rest of the chapters. Now this is about a large warehouse that Mr. Epsom has acquired. Um, he's like the crook, I guess, and uh, you know he's, he's ready now to travel to one of the Federation planets, which, um, which uh, you know, the, the Earth Federation has discovered um, some, at some point in the future. Um, scientists worked frantically as final checks, launching instructions and crew orders were made all simultaneously and the roof of the huge complex opened to reveal a star shooting across the night sky. The large door of the massive ship was closed and locked and the 500 strong crew took their positions. They were now ready to try the new Zergon enforced ion engines and they were initiated with pleasing efficiency. Everyone below scattered to safety. Prepare for time travel countdown, informed a loud female voice echoing around the noisy warehouse. High raised flats could now see directly into the building, which up until a few minutes ago was known as the Devil's Pit because of the thousands of jobs that had been lost there years before. The land had been bought from a successful electronics firm by a Mr. Epsom and he told the workers he was holding off for something big for them, but it was only now that they could see for themselves just how big he meant. The police and special forces had been alerted of the shooting disturbances, an unbelievable sight on the other side of the city. Buildings eventually were surrounded and small crafts began hovering overhead. Three minutes and counting, prepare for wormhole initiation, echoed the voice. Inside the ship the crew were now prepared for travel. Special shields had been aligned and everyone was securely fixed into individual time travel pods. Two minutes in counting, said the voice. slowly arose and a collection of clouds formed above the roof of the warehead. IPF ship circled menacingly above and ordered a stop to the proceedings before opening fire but the ships began to swirl and the strange uncontrollable disturbance behind them looked like tin cans in a hurricane. One by one the ships were sucked into the small wormhole that was gradually being created and they were entirely helpless from its awesome force. The heavens seemed to open up Everyone below fled into specially constructed bunkers. The countdown sequence had now been lost by the noise of the wind and any loose debris was sucked in by the black monster that devastated above them. The complex was illuminated with the power iron and the ship wormhole. The countdown began. 900 decades ahead, full speed ordered Epsom and a wry smile appeared on his fat shiny face as they entered his third eyes. 
lit light candles. The joy of the project's success was clear as Emerson brought down his shields and exited his pod. Now that's just describing a wormhole um, and the possibility that uh, there is technology existing today uh, whereby whereby this, this, this type of travel may be possible. Now I really believe that this is a pointer, um, this was a pointer um, that the Holy Spirit gave about um, what has happened in our galaxy from the beginning 6,000 years ago. It would explain, you know, why the dinosaurs were wiped out and if, if, if the scientists are correct um, in saying that um, they were wiped out by a meteor um, and this happened several thousand, or they say several million years ago, but I guess none of us really know how long. But um, generally along that line, uh, there might be some truth to that. Um, so I believe that, you know, I've, I've been given this, and uh, we know that about the planet, um, planet X theory, that there are fallen angelic uh, beings still, still on part of that planet. Remember, it exploded. So there's only parts of it left, and most of it is just a meteor belt between Mars and Jupiter. Um, so I'll just end this by saying really that um, I had no knowledge of any of this until I got online, and uh, you know all the pictures and um, studies and so on and so forth. Um, you know, sort of came to me a few years ago, and that's why I find these end things quite exciting. And uh, obviously, I get my, my knowledge from God and not from any external source, you know, the Holy Spirit will lead me um, to any knowledge that I, I need or to confirm something that, uh, that, that God has shown me. So, um, yes, um, you know, we, we are in the end times and I just pray that uh, we can be vigilant and uh, yes, you I know, mean, I would recommend obviously downloading the book and having a read at it because you know, it's been rejected by big publishers and, you know, when you know, books such as Harry Potter and so on are printed, um, and I don't think they've got that much quality in them, you know, there's a lot of witchcraft in them, you know, this book is, you know, suitable for kids, I think, um, there's no spells in it, there is no, um, but it is tackling issues um, that we're facing today and that we probably will face within the next few years. So may you be blessed. Shalom, Yahshua.